Folks, it finally happened. We finally took our A-frame out camping. How did things go? Well, let's hop to it. Naturally, we picked the coldest day of the year to go out for our first trip. We went to a local campground that we've been to quite a few times before, and overall everything worked as expected. If you stay to the end of this video, I will let you know the one thing that I will have to change before we go back out again. The campground we went to is Raleigh Oaks RV Resort and Cottages here in Four Oaks, North Carolina. It's a really nice good Sam's campground with 150 sites, a lot of them pull through. All the sites are fairly level and easy to access. We only had to put a half inch board under the passenger side tire. All sites come with full hookups including sewer and cable which we took advantage of. Each site comes with a picnic table and a fire ring and the sites are really large. Most of them can accommodate the biggest rigs including those really big fifth wheels and the truck to tow them plus have extra room left over. Our flagstaff was by far the smallest camper there but we did attract a lot of attention. The site and the roads are all made of packed stone and there are very few if any potholes. Water pressure is high, about 80 psi, so a regulator is recommended. They provide satellite TV to each site, but they only have about 33 channels. Internet is good and strong, but they do not allow streaming so you can't use your Roku or Fire Stick. Our T-Mobile phones got 3 out of 5 bars on a 5G signal. There are a lot of things for the kids to do including basketball, pickleball, a play area with swings and a slide, a really nice miniature golf course, and a game room with a pool table. There are two swimming pools, which were both closed for the season. The smaller pool mostly attracts the quieter people, while the larger pool is more of a family place. The larger pool has a shallow area for kids or adults who want to sun themselves. There is also a heated whirlpool tub. We also like Raleigh Oaks because it's very pet friendly and our dog Sophie loves to come here. There are two enclosed dog areas for her to go crazy in. For local attractions, there is the Ava Gardner Museum, the Civil War Battlegrounds in Bentonville, and the Carolina Premium Outlet Stores. All are within a close drive to the campground. So for those of you who want me to give a campground rating, I guess I should put something in here. Raleigh Oaks gets high marks for level sites and good amenities, but loses a couple for lack of trees and not allowing streaming. Overall, I'm going to give it 8.5 out of 10 ribbits. Yes, ribbits. What did you expect? Stars or thumbs up? Anyway, this time out we only spent 24 hours at Raleigh Oaks, but we had a great time. Even though the flagstaff is a lot smaller than our coachman, we were cozy and fairly comfortable staying in it. The new solid foam memory mattress we installed was comfortable, and it being a full queen was nice even with the dog sleeping with us. We had a chance to cook breakfast, and with a bit of planning and organization, things came out just fine. As far as overall livability, all the windows and skylights definitely make this little trailer feel much larger. At the beginning of this video, I promised I would let you know about the one thing that I need to address before we go back out again. No, it's not Sophie. I'm referring to the back wall behind the bed. With the nightly temperatures down into the low 40s to upper 30s, Mrs. Hop to it found it to be too cold to lay near. She ended up hogging the mattress all night. I will have to put up some sort of insulation to solve this issue since we will be going out again in a few weeks. Let me know in the comments if you found the same problem in your camper. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like icon, ring that bell, and please subscribe. Until next time, keep camping.